Hello viewers, this is BS Fanboy here and I'm back with another video. Uh, today I'm going to be doing a review on James Garcia's album, Activated. Uh, came out, I believe, about two, maybe two, three weeks ago. And uh, I've been bumping it like mad. I'm going to give my review on this album because uh, James Garcia, formerly known as Young Wicked, he's currently my favorite rapper, so why not, right? Alright, so first things first, uh, the album cover... Uh, it's it's pretty cool. It's all right. I mean, it's nothing special really. It's just the logo, the James Garcia logo and the activated logo on the bottom. Uh, Otis looking all cool leaning against like a like a garage door or something with some lightning effects in the background. It's it's, a, it's pretty cool. It's all right. But the haircut though, <laughs> terrible. <laughs> Sorry, Otis. It's just my opinion. All right, let me go inside the uh, album here real quick. Uh, let's see. It's got the little notes here. It's just like a, a piece of paper. It's not, it's not, it's not like a booklet or nothing. That like, like, it's, it kind of sucks, to be honest with you, but whatever. It's cool. I uh, got all the thanks and the uh, credits and stuff, cuts and vocals, intro vocals. Uh, yeah. Photos, etc. Uh, wardrobe provided by Killer Hustle Inc. Okay, that's cool. All right, let me put that back in there. Uh, here's the CD itself. Pretty cool. And here's the inside of the uh, the case. Try to get the glare off of there. Okay. <clears throat> so that's cool. Oh, I, I didn't even notice this. The, the track listing is on the CD itself, too. Cool. All right, let me go ahead and speaking of the track listing, let's go to the track listing. Track number one, activated intro. Uh, it's a pretty good intro. Um, it's just a uh, you know, spoken word intro. Uh, it's, just, it's the same guy that does the intro on the Fatality EP by AMB. Right here, AMB. Only time will tell the impact, the impact that impact. this new energy will have when that energy is activated. Oh yeah, and uh, just so y'all know, I'm going to give each song a rating, except for the intro, because it's just an intro, who cares? Um, but yeah, let's go ahead and keep going. Track number two, James. Um, I like the beat on here. It's a little weird sounding at first when it goes... Um, but it bumps real hard, so that's good. Uh, lyrics are great. Uh, flow is good. The hook is, eh, it's all right. Uh, my favorite line from this song goes like, Chopper my homie and that for life, cut. Marry the money, that's who I wife, duh. Yeah. Pretty funny. My rating for James is a three and a half out of five. All right, so let's go ahead and keep going. Uh, game time. This is a great song. Uh, great beat, great flow, great lyrics. The only thing I don't like about it is that the song is a, a little too short. I think it's only like two and a half minutes long. That's not a problem with the whole album, though. That's that's the problem with this whole album. It's all the songs are way too short. Well, ninety nine percent of the songs. My favorite line from this song goes. Y'all are awesome jobbers with that novice bit and talking about your shit is dope. Nah, it isn't. Pretty good, pretty good lyric right there. Uh, this song, um, as previously stated in my review for the music video, I gave it a four and a half out of five. Uh, it, it got bumped down to four and a half because of the, the length. Pause. All right, track number four, F That Sh. This is like a classic uh, A and B slash Young Wicked song. Classic beat, good flow, good lyrics. Uh, this is probably one of my, actually this is definitely one of my favorite songs on the album. Uh, let's see, my favorite, uh, line from this song goes like this. I woke up and got to work before I got my breakfast in. I refuse to be another loser like the rest of them. And that's the kind of line that speaks to the soul right there. At least for me, I don't know about y'all, but yeah. Uh, this song I give it a 5 out of 5. Great job. Okay, track number five, MTLBS, which stands for More Tattoos, Less Bullshit. Uh, I like the beat. It's a good beat. Uh, bumps real hard, and the, the I love the guitars in the background and stuff. 
<clears throat> the lyrics are great. Uh, at first, when I did, when I first heard this song, I was disappointed that the acronym didn't stand for something more serious. Uh, but it's all good, you know. It's still, it still it, it grew on me, so that's that's good. And this is actually another one of my favorite songs on this album. Uh, my favorite line from this song goes like this. Yeah, y'all ain't want it with me. I go harder in this bitch cause I know nothing is free. And that and that's some, that also inspires me like that. <laughs> as funny as it is, but yeah. Uh, this song I give it a, another four and a half out of five. Uh, again, good good song, but it was too short. Alright, track number six, Ice. This one has a really good beat to it. Very uh, very unique, very uh, different than what Otis usually does. Uh, so I like it, it's really good. I, I like the beat, uh, great great, uh, great vocal effects and stuff. The vocals, like the auto-tune and stuff, sounds really good on Otis's voice. <clears throat> the lyrics are good, uh, and other, uh, the lyrics are good, and uh, the other vocal effects are pretty good too. Uh, and the hook is really catchy, so that's that's really good. You always gotta have a catchy hook on an album. My favorite line goes like this. I just keep applying pressure till that mountain crumble. Don't be talking about that grind if you ain't about nothing. And that's another <laughs> that's another uh, inspirational-ish line for me. Uh, again, I don't know about y'all, but this guy inspires the fuck out of me. Uh, let's see, this song I give it another four and a half out of five. Um, again, the only problem is that these songs are too short. Alright, try number seven, Flex featuring DJ Stigmata. Uh, I'm not sure who DJ Stigmata is, and I'm not sure what his contributions are on this. Actually, let me, let me take a look here. Uh, okay, I, I'm assuming it's production, because it says right here in the booklet. Uh, this one I consider another classic Young Wicked beat, or A&B beat. Um, bumps real hard, goes real you know fresh and stuff. Uh, great flow. Uh, great, great lyrical, lyrical content and stuff like that. And uh, my favorite line from this song goes like this: We get it cracking in any city, we crushing and I be dripping and splashing and I'm killing this fashion. It ain't no rapper is passion and got the face you could catch it and oh yes, this is my flex. <laughs> I don't know about y'all, but I think this fucking fresh as hell. Uh, this song I give it a four out of five. Track number eight felt so high. This is the quintessential mandatory stoner song on a on a on a, on a rap album. Uh, it's a great song, uh, classic stoner beat. I don't, I don't know about classic, but it's a great stoner beat. <laughs> if you ever want to, you know, get stoned on something, this is this is a song you need to put on your 420 playlist. <laughs> Definitely. Uh, great flow, great lyrics, um, good use of vocal effects and auto tune. Uh, catchy as fuck chorus. Fucking awesome, awesome, awesome. Uh, my favorite line goes like this. Haters, they don't come my way. They know I'ma do my job. Now, listen to that lyric again and tell me that's just not fresh. That is the epitome of fresh right there, in my opinion. Uh, I give this track a uh, 5 out of 5. One of the best songs on the album. Alright, track number 9, Satellite. Uh, when I first heard the name of this song, I was like, is this going to be like a cover of ICP song, Satellite? But no, I was way off. Um, let's see, the, the, the beat and the lyrics, to me, sound very inspirational on this song. I'm not sure how to describe it exactly, but you, you'll hear the sample in a second. I don't know about y'all, but again, the, the beat really speaks to my soul. Uh, this is one of the longer tracks on the album. I think it's about three and a half minutes long, as opposed to two and a half, like the, mo the most of the rest are. Uh, which is great because this is one of the one of the uh, more inspirational songs on the album. It's better to have the inspirational songs be the longer songs, in my opinion. My favorite line goes like this: I'm so fucking high up, it's lonely. I feel like this where I'm going. Again, listen to that and tell me that's not inspirational. I can't, I have no other words for that. Uh, this song, I give it a four to five. Four out of five. All right, track number 10, Tick Tock. Really, nigga? I'm not gonna lie, when I first saw that title, I was like, oh God, no. I thought it was gonna be a cover of this stupid song by Kesha. Uh, but no, this is actually, <laughs> this is actually a song about the app, Tick Tock. I should have realized that, but I guess I did. I guess I'm too stupid, whatever. 
Anyway, uh, this song has a really good beat, banging, fucking bumps like a motherfucker. This is a, this is a song that has a classic Young Wicked flow, classic Young Wicked lyrics. Uh, fucking insane, man. Great song. Uh, my favorite lyric from the song goes like this. Industry is full of demons trying to hide the fact They have these motherfuckers getting on the mic is whack. I'm running circles all around them other guys that rap. Let me get back to the hook. I know you like the bad it go. Again, tell me that's not fucking fresh, man. Ah, uh, I love Otis. No homo. Anyway, I give this song a four out of five. Okay, track number 11, Racing. Um, this one's not... It, it, this is my least favorite song on the album. I'm not going to lie to you guys. Uh, it, it's okay. I mean, I'll, I'll listen to it, but most of the time I'll just skip over it if I'm listening to the album, like like the CD. But yeah. Uh, let's see. It has a chill kind of beat. Uh, chill lyrics, chill vocals. Uh, it's an okay song. Uh, I'm not really sure how to describe it. Um, this line is my favorite line from this song. I don't trip off a bitch. I do me, leave me alone. I don't sell, but I sip THC, throw it on. I don't. Yeah, it's pretty good. Uh, I give this song a two out of five. Two out of five. All right, and track number twelve, the last, the final track. Feel all right. Uh, this is basically the mandatory feel good song that's at the end of most uh, M&E albums, uh, such as uh, Carry On was on Particle Sun, and then uh, Gorilla Voltage had their um, feel good song at the end of their album, Apex. I don't know if they had one on, on Gods, and, Gods and Claws, but I know they had one on Apex. But yeah, this is basically the mandatory feel good track at the end of any M&E album. It's not twisted. Anyway, um, but yeah, it's, it's still a great song. It has great lyrics, uh, really good beat. I really like the drums and the guitars in the background. They sound really good and really crisp, really clean. But again, it's a little too short for my taste. I would have liked a longer track at the end or maybe at least a bonus track or like a bonus skit like, like how ICP usually does in their albums. Um, but that's okay, you know, no, no, no diss or nothing, <clears throat> but yeah, it, it could have. This album could have been a lot longer than what it was. I looked it up; it's only like thirty minutes long, so that's kind of it's kind of whack to be honest. I, I, will, I will want a little more bang for my buck. Uh, my favorite is a line from this song goes like this. Fresh, right? <laughs> uh, I give this song a three and a half out of five. All right, so that was my review of the album. Uh, let me give you guys a top three in no particular order. Uh, top three would be Game Time. Game Time, bitch, I'm ready to go. Put the work in every day, so I'll never be broke. On a beat like drugs, so I better be dope. She back it up into my hard drive memories, bro. F that sh. I do what I do and when I do it, it look effortless I've been going up and going way and call it Everest I'm about to bread until I'm dead and I will never switch And uh, felt so high I never felt so high I never felt so high Looking at the clouds roll by Felt so high was actually my first favorite song on this album Well actually, no that's a lie uh, Game Time and Felt So High were my first two favorites on this album, uh, but I did listen to Felt So High more. I just, I just like the uh, the chill vibe. You know what I mean? It was good. It was good to listen to after a stressful day. All right. So overall rating for this album, eight out of ten. Uh, most songs could have and should have been longer, uh, but the beats were the beats and the lyrics were really good. Um, and as I said before, 12 tracks is a little too uh, is a little too small for an album. In my opinion, I mean, um, most albums now nowadays have like at least 14 tracks. You know what I mean? M House Clicks album, me and my sister, ours was like 17 tracks. <clears throat> that was with the bonus track too. So, if Scrubs like us can do 17 tracks. Otis, you can put up to at least 14 tracks on your album. 
and make them longer than fucking two and a half minutes. That's just my opinion. Of course, you do what you want to do. It's your career. I'm not here to freaking run your career. I'm just giving you my opinion. All right, like I said before, album was eight out of ten. Um, really good. I am. I am definitely gonna keep this in my collection because I love fucking Young Wicked. Alright, so like I previously stated, this album is an 8 out of 10. Definitely gonna keep it. Definitely gonna keep the uh, the songs on my phone, on my playlist. Uh, I'm gonna bump it all the damn time because I, I, I love the songs on this album. And uh, yeah, I fucking love Young Wicked and uh, or James Garcia, sorry. <clears throat> and I'm going to keep buying his records until he disappoints me uh, about 80% of the way. Anything less, I will still continue to buy his albums. So yeah. Alright y'all, so that was my review of James Garcia's Activated album. Uh, make sure you like, comment, subscribe, comment down below on what albums you want me to review next, what videos you want me to react to next, and what games you want me to play next. I do all that stuff now, which is pretty fresh. Um, and uh, make sure y'all stay safe, stay fresh. Uh, rock your favorite paper views merch whenever you can. I don't know. I don't want to say favorite wrestlers because these are not my favorite wrestlers. <laughs> uh, but yeah. And um, I'll see y'all next time. Peace. Oh, <laughs>